counting down now to first pitch in South Florida. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Well, the wait is over. Baseball has a new address in Miami, and you're looking at it. Marlins Park, the site for tonight's edition of Baseball on the Show. We've got a good one on tap here, as it'll be the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the newly named Miami Marlins. And welcome again, everybody, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. Alongside me, Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, who'll join us momentarily. But first, what do you say we get right to our starting lineup here? It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state, State Farm. And on the mound to face this lineup, there you see the numbers for the hard-throwing right-hander, Josh Johnson. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Carlos Beltran will dig in, currently fifth in the National League in batting to begin play. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw over by Infante, and that's out number one. And there you see the numbers from his last start, and let's just say it wasn't a start to remember. So now he's had a few days to chew on it. We'll see if he can turn things around. Skip Schumacher will step in now. Skip Schumacher. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Worth pointing out how important it was to keep the leadoff guy off base to start the night. And to do it with one pitch, that's even better. The 1-0 pitch. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2-0. Strike there, two and one. And these hitters better start getting used to that pitch. He'll run it up there in the mid to high 90s. Fastball bounces up to the plate and it's taken for a ball. Now you got the big thunder coming next, so you do not want to lose this guy. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Oh, and he may have reached for ball four there as this is sent on the ground to third. Throws over to Lee, two down. And this will be a big key for him as we continue on tonight. Can he keep the ball on the ground? And after two batters and two ground outs, he's off to a good start. Matt Holliday will dig in here. Off the plate and low here, ball one. And he's tallied just one hit here in the series so far, one for eight. Off the plate again, 2-0 now.
just starting things out here in South Florida. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and Now we'll see what they want to do 3-0. and In the first inning, he could very well have the green light if he wants it. And he gets this fastball over. Back to 3-1 and one now. Taken for ball four, so it's a two-out walk here in the top of the first. Yeah, a two-out walk gets them their first runner here in the first. It looked like he really didn't want to challenge him at all. Lance Berkman will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Ball. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And now here's where you really need to make that two-out walk pay off. A swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So they pick up no run, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Marlins looks like this. Again, courtesy of State Farm. They'll square off against the man who fashioned the lowest ERA in the entire National League in 2009, the former Cy Young Award winner, Chris Carpenter. And the Cardinals behind him will look like this defensively. Right back to work as the shortstop, Jose Reyes, digs in to lead off the bottom of inning number one. Check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Outside, two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ballgame. 
Yeah, not what you want to do here in this hostile ballpark. Walk the leadoff guy who just happens to be a threat to go every time he's on first. Tough way to start things out. Chris Coughlin will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. First pitch from Carpenter. And a good call as they pitch out there, but Reyes isn't going yet. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. Beltran is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Very close to being a two-run homer. That thing peters out and dies a bit on the warning track, and that forces the runner to retreat back to first. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now, hoping to get on base. As you can see, he currently sits sixth in the senior circuit in stolen bases. And this is hit well towards the hole. And Ramirez is aboard, hits a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Logan Morrison will stand in for the first time here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Uh, and even when you think a guy's going to be taking that first pitch, you don't just want to lay that fastball in there letter high. Oh. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Carpenter checks, now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's a two balls and two strikes now. First and second now, one man out. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd, a foul ball. On the ground to second base, this could be two. A dive, and he knocks it down. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Mike Stanton will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total. And as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Yes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one.
Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Bases are loaded with only one out. Big breaking ball and a beauty. One and two. Oof. What a time to call on that. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Now a big pitch here. He wouldn't want to go to three and two, I wouldn't think. And no offer at that one from Carpenter, so it's a full count now, three and two. is ball four and that will force home a run boy and you talk about a tough start to a ball game on the mound everything that could go wrong has gone wrong here in the first inning and forcing in a run with a bases loaded walk could be just the tip of the iceberg Derek Lee will get his first shot here a couple of hits in four trips last night Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. And you can see right there, nowhere to put him. Not exactly the right time to fall behind 1-0. and oh. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And that ball is out of here. It's a grand slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. And the Marlins have opened this up now. It's 5-0. You want to talk about digging a hole for yourself in the very first inning. You see where that pitch was on swing track. Another mistake right there, and it's quickly a 5-0 deficit here in the first. Omar Infante steps in now. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. And I just don't understand what's running through this guy's head. Apparently, he's not watching the same game I am because he's made no move to even get someone up in the bullpen. And they guessed right on the bunt, but this is going to be close. Bare-handed pickup, but the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Third baseman's already playing in to guard against the bunt, but this is still laid out there perfectly, so he needs to barehand this thing and rush the throw. Boy, that is pretty right there. Tom Webb will get his first shot at it here. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Up with it is for call. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie here, the grand slam home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and the lead is now five. Alan Craig leads things off now in the top half of the second.
Ball. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. And now with this big early deficit, you got to take it one inning at a time. You just got to try to claw your way back. one oh on the way and he goes down to get the fastball there but I don't think he got all of it as this is at the deep center field and it's a fly out to start the second one away you know now that we've made it to just about the midway point of the season this is where you start to see a little bit of separation between the haves and the have nots and I think we can pretty safely say that these guys are in it for the long haul Yadier Molina will be the batter and he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Good nope. hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball. 2-1. Now a hard liner, but this is a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Taken by Infante, throw on to first to be in time to get Molina, and that's out number two. Good fastball there on the outside part of the plate. He got him to reach for it, and all he could do was send an easy grounder to second. David Fries will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Uh, and a lot of guys like to look at a pitch in their first at bat, but that was a location he could have done some damage with. Another fastball, another cold strike, nothing in two now. center field and he is going to ride this one right out of here home run so a solo shot here to left center field eighth home run on the season for him as they get on the scoreboard here it's five to one Yeah, and he may have gone to the well one too many times there, and it's going to wind up costing him. Once you give a hitter an idea for the speed and delivery of that thing, he'll learn how to handle it, and I think he handled it about as well as he could there. Rafael Fercal will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Now the first pitch. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. If there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now that's their meal ticket you're messing with. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike.
A ball hit hard to the left side. In there, a base hit. And this is what he has to do more of. If that pitch is away, take it to the other field. He's been pulling a lot of balls this year, and his average has suffered because of it. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and now Chris Carpenter's going to have a shot to help himself out here. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. A runner on first with two away. High in the air and deep down the left field line. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. Miami! Miami! Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw on to Lee will be in time, and the inning is over. One in the inning for the Cardinals, and it comes courtesy of David Freeze. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Marlins five, and the Cardinals one. Josh Johnson will get his first opportunity now. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. And here's a fastball called for strike two. No ball. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Jose Reyes will stand in for a second time. He drew a base on balls to lead off the home first. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And Berkman will make his way to first to record the out. So it's important to put a bad first inning behind you. And he's got two quick outs here in the second. And it looks like he's got good rhythm going right now. Maybe an inning too late, though. Chris Coglin will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And a high strike there, 0-1. There's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Throw to Berkman will take care of him, and with that, the side is retired. We'll see Carlos Beltran first when we come back. They're down 5-1. to one. There is Carlos Beltran. He'll lead it off against Josh Johnson as we get the inning underway. Here's Johnson back to work now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. No balls in a strike. Matt, he's digging a hole for himself now by not offering at those. Yeah. 
Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But this will be a foul ball. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Got him. And here's the four pitch sequence again on show track. You'll see it's all hard stuff for the first three pitches. Then he pulls the string here on pitch number four and down he goes. Skip Schumacher will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. And they're getting toward that dangerous part of the lineup here, so he definitely doesn't want to walk him. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Now the three one pitch. Late swing, and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. And let's run through this sequence one more time here on show track. You'll see the first three pitches miss here as he falls behind 3-0. and oh. Then comes the obligatory take sign for the first strike. Then a good rip to foul off the 3-1. and one. But he couldn't keep the streak going as he misses with pitch number six and winds up losing him. Matt Holliday will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First pitch on its way from Johnson. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Infante for one. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They're down here five to one. Hanley Ramirez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw by for Kyle and there's one down. Well, it's evident he's starting to settle in out there and this is what veteran pitchers do. They make adjustments as they go along. Remember, he was close to being out of this game, and now he's come back to retire six in a row. Logan Morrison will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Yeah. 
And it's official now. He just doesn't have it tonight. I don't know how they can let him continue out there. Mike Stanton will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Hey. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. A look at Morrison, now the pitch. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And guys have been really patient with that slider so far. They've let it go and waited for him to put something over the plate. Runners on first with one down. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, after getting ahead here, 0 and 2. You know, he nibbles for a couple pitches and then finally he just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by him. So a runner at first with two away. And standing in now, the always dangerous first baseman, Derek Lee. First pitch from Carpenter. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. Well, I think he's getting frustrated with his inability to get ahead of hitters. This is not the kind of guy you want to fall behind 2-0. Oh, and here's a slider that's ruled a ball 3-0 now. And this is all about respecting the power here. He got burned once, and I don't think he's going to give in again. The three and nothing pitch, and not exactly a determined swing there on three and zero, oh, as they say he went around. It's three and one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And he is in there. On to Berkman to take care of him and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. They lead this one, though, five to one. Lance Berkman will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch to him. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. And at the plate, he's hitless and eight at bats here in the series, so he'd love to turn things around. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away.
And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. This is a scroll he's taken five times in this series now. That slow walk back to the dugout after getting punched out. After a while, these things, they start to wear on you. You've got to try to keep the mindset that every at-bat's a new opportunity, but most of the time, that's easier said than done. First pitch coming. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Two and oh now. Hit hard back up the middle, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. And this is how you go from base hit to an out in about a second and a half. Doggone it. Yadier Molina will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. And a good heater as he just One watches ball. this baby, a ball and a strike. Up high, two and one now. Now a fastball hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to Lee will take care of him, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Marlins five and the Cardinals one. A look at the National League scoreboard as we get the latest on what's happening in the senior circuit. Omar Infante will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a swing and a high fly ball out to center field for Beltran. One pitch, one away. Tom Webb will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And in the early innings here, you can really tell he's struggling to find the release point on that curveball. Fastball misses away here. It's 2-0. and oh. <laughs> 
Mm, good downward movement fooled him there. Two and one. And after that early blip on the radar, he's come back to look much sharper these last couple of innings. 5-1 our score as we play the fourth here. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now. Three and two. Here it comes. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. And for whatever the reason, this has not been the ace we've been accustomed to seeing out there. I mean, he's normally attacking the opposing hitters, but he showed a little bit of tentativeness, and we don't see that from him very often. Josh Johnson will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. And now Johnson squares around to Bunt and puts this one down. And all Molina can do is throw on to first, so the sacrifice is a good one. Yeah, some folks here might say with one out, why not just let him swing away? But I think here at least you let your pitcher make a productive out, which is about all you can really hope for. So it's back to the top of the order now. And stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. Reyes come on. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Swing and a soft liner. Foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Carpenter checks. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Well, when you give a team extra outs to work with, you usually end up paying the piper. Now two men are on, and they get an extra out to deal with here. Chris Coglin will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Now a fastball, and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Marlins strand a pair. They're up 5-1. to one. David Fries will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. He was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Go back to the 
and he misses low here so the count goes to three and one water get the water here three one on the way swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left and that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Well, when you're behind at this point in the ball game, you need base runners. That's a poor decision there to try to stretch it into two. Rafael Fercal will dig in. He singled his first time around. And a fastball's in there for strike one. One run on three hits. One error for the Cardinals to this point. That misses to the Cardinal shortstop, and it's even at one and one. And they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now mm, just overmatched him there here's Johnson now with the one two hit hard to the right foul Lays off the one-two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. The two-two coming. And the two-two is taken the other way on the ground to third. There to take it is Ramirez. Throws over to Lee, two down. What a difference five days can make. He's been a totally different pitcher out there compared to his last start. The command is much better. The pitches are much sharper. Even the body language tells me he's got things under control. John Jay is up off the bench, so that'll spell the end for Chris Carpenter in this one. First pitch on its way from Johnson. Swing and a miss, strike one. Now he might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get one at-bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And here's a spot off the bench where all you want to do is just to try to get something started. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. That is such a valuable weapon when you can spot the fastball down there. Now here's the pitch. Fouled back. Strike three called, so the pinch hitter will head right back to where he came from. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They're down five to one. Jake Westbrook is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Westbrook. 
Hanley Ramirez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Logan Morrison will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And this guy's got two of their four hits tonight, so he's been one of their few bright spots. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Change up that time. A swing, and this one's driven out to deep left center field. This ball has a chance, and it is over the wall. A home run. Solo home run for Logan Morrison, number 14 on the season, and it's now a 6 to 1 ball game. And this just goes to show you don't always have to pull the ball to hit home runs. Even though this ball's middle in, he still has the strength to get those hands through and ride it the other way over the wall. Mike Stanton will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And here's the first pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And it's a pretty rare sight to look up at that scoreboard and see a team that has more runs than hits, but that's what we've got here. Outside for a ball, one and one. Swing and a line drive to left. And a diving effort, but this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Make it 20 doubles for him on the season now as he finds this one to his liking. Pitchers should know by now that he'll kill you if you leave pitches there. So a runner on second with one down now. And here comes big Derek Lee. Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And for Stanton, he reaches the 20 mark in doubles with that last two-bagger. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. And, and this is becoming all about confidence now. And he's pitching a little rattled out there. Two zero on the way. Hey. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. One strike. And Lee will really be in the driver's seat now as the count goes to three and one. Well, it looks like he's aiming the baseball now instead of just letting it go. He's ready. Now the pitch. Gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A 
Two-run shot for Derek Lee is second of the game, and this is now a seven-run ball game. It goes without saying, but this is the one guy in the lineup that you just cannot let beat you. Even just hurt you for that matter. Still though, they fall behind him and they give him something on the inside part of the plate that he can turn on. That's just a recipe for disaster. Omar Infante will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball from Westbrook. Good for strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. And now, as a reliever, You've got to go out and give 100% and focus on the task at hand. You can't let the emotion enter into the equation or it'll mess up your concentration and things will get even worse. Slider just off the black there and it's to two and one now. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. Three Full count now, three and two. And he misses ball four. Well, when you're already in a deep hole, the last thing you want to do is keep digging. But the walk here is only going to make things worse. Tom Webb will stand in base on balls his last time. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Let's keep the inning alive. Go. Right Please. back to the changeup, just as effective here. It's nothing in two. Surprised he's not swinging the bat here? Yeah, one take was understandable after the walk, but after that, you got to be ready to swing the bat. Three runs already home here. Lined hard to center field. Beltron is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, you're looking at a guy who hasn't had a whole lot of breaks go his way so far in this one, but I, I think he might have gotten one here because this ball is smoked. Not quite enough, though, to get it out of here. Josh Johnson will stand in. Sacrifice bunt his last time. <laughs> right there for strike one. And they won't be afraid to work up in the zone against a guy like this. They want him to hit it in the air. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. Here's your job. 
Jake Reddy, here's the one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Boy, uncommon patience there for a pitcher, especially with two away. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Two two pitches, a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. And with the count full now, the runner on first should be off with the pitch here. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Holiday is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Five innings complete. The Marlins lead this one eight to one. Carlos Beltran will get things started here in the top of inning number six. First pitch on the way. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Come on now, let's get a K right here. Ball two. And this is a guy that's been around long enough to know they're not going to make up this difference with one swing. So that's a good job of being patient here. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. To his left, he's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I would hazard a guess that when you give this guy a seven-run lead, his winning percentage is probably in the 99.9% .9 range. This is a long road back, that's for sure. Skip Schumacher will stand in, base on balls his last time. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. One run on three hits, one error for the Cardinals to this point. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Hard hit towards center. A dive, but it'll get past him out in center, and this could roll till tomorrow. Around second, Schumacher heading for third. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. Ah, uh, and this is something you don't want to see. We mentioned at the top of the broadcast that he was going to try to play through the hamstring injury, but it certainly looks from up here that he's re-aggravated it somehow. Aaron Rowan will come into the ball game now as he'll take over in center following the injury. Matt Holliday will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and And at this stage of the ball game, they'll be happy to trade a run for an out here. in there and it's even at one and this is fouled back and out of play Fastball swung on and hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and Holiday will take a little vacation as he's retired, two gone. And that right there, 
that's what your veteran hitters will do. I mean, he can see the infield's back. He knows that anything beyond the pitcher, it's going to be an RBI. So that's all he's trying to do. It's a good job of picking up the run. Lance Berkman will dig in now, hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1-0. Now Berkman awaits the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, uh, and he turns beautifully on that fastball as this is pulled into right for a base hit. Didn't have a whole lot of choice there on 2-0. and You had to go after him. You know, but when you leave that ball out over the plate, this can be the result. You know, that's what being patient and waiting for your pitch will get you. Alan Craig will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Let's go. Shut this guy down. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's high and off the plate, 2-1. and one. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. I think this is a bad angle to the ball, and let's just say not so great a decision to dive. He should have gotten to this ball, but instead he winds up playing this one into extra bases. Yadier Molina will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Now the first pitch. And he'll start in with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball, 1-0. For Craig, he picks up his sixth double so far on the year. And this will be fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. One one on the way. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And now against his body, a jump throw. And a low throw, but he's able to look this one right into the old bread basket as he hangs on to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Marlins lead it 8-3. to three. J.C. Romero will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 32, J.C. Romero.
Back with Eric Karros and Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian as the reigning NL batting champ and new signee Jose Reyes will settle in to lead things off for Miami. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Well, he's hitless so far as he looks to push his hitting streak to seven games. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Strike call, two and one. And right now, he's not throwing anything but the old number one coming right at him. Three and one. And boy, this is exactly how you want your leadoff hitter to approach an at-bat. He's showing a lot of patience, and it's worked out so far. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. Looking for call. Throw not in time, but boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. Well, this was a heck of an effort to get to this thing. What a stop. But the way this guy can run, no chance to get him at first. That's an infield hit. Aaron Rowan digs in at the plate. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. Now the 1-0 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. and one. Yeah, and 2-1 and one's a good hit and run count. Let's see if they decide to put it on here. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. From the belt, the pitch. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Throw over to first. And the runner back. Now a ball on the ground for Fries at third. Can they get two? On to first, and Rowan is retired as well. It's a double play. Hanley Ramirez will step in, a ground out victim his last time.
First offering on the way. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And this is their second hit of the inning now, but all they have to show for it is a runner on first and two away. Logan Morrison will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. And you can thank this guy for contributing to their nine-hit attack. He's got three of them. Woo, yeah. Now a fastball for one a ball. pulled strike. It's one and one. A runner on first with two away. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. Down low, two balls and a strike. Looks like they're showing a bit more respect to that guy up there. And that's what a three-for-three three ball game will do for you. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Beltran has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. One left for Miami, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. David Freeze will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Here's one hit towards the hole. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Well, he came into this one looking for win number five on the season, and he's certainly done his job so far. Rafael Fercal will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's swung on and missed by Furcal as he falls behind here, nothing in two. Well, he's got a different look to him in this seventh inning. Much more determined. And the fastball is low and inside as he's got to back up to avoid that one. Nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. He's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here the last two pitches.
Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Daniel Descalzo will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw on to Lee will be in time, and the inning is over. The dangerous Mike Stanton will get the first shot when we return, but they lead it by a count of 8-3. to three. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Fernando Salas will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. And there now is Mike Stanton. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Fastball just misses for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball lined towards center field. In is Beltron, but this is down for a base hit. And you can tell... When these guys have gone up to the plate, they've had a plan. You know, they're just not wildly swinging, hoping for things to work out. They've been looking for specific pitches in specific locations. The advanced scouts, they've earned their pay in this one. Derek Lee will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ballgame. As we flash you back here to his second home run. This is back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. He's set, now the pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Well, it probably wasn't the way he wanted to move the guy into scoring position, but it'll have to do as he gets that man up to second now with only one away. Omar Infante will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Now 
a ball slapped hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner will score from second. Everybody's getting into the act now. He's been held out of the RBI column to that point, but no longer as they continue to pour it on. Tom Webb will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. Craig will get there, though, as he makes the catch for the second out. And the way balls have been flying out of here, every time a fly ball is hit, you think it might go the distance. But this one stays up long enough for him to put it away out there. Josh Johnson will stand in here. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And no sign of a pinch hitter, so it looks like he'll be out there for the top of the eighth. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. here is it's to one and two. Swing and a sinking line drive to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. Well, it might be about time to move this guy up in the lineup. Not often that your pitcher can come through at the plate and have the kind of season he's having. He's been on fire. Jose Reyes will get another crack. One for three thus far. He'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Hit hard but fouled off to the left and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And he misses there, one and two. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Try again, one, two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. And look out as this bat shatters on impact.
lays off two and two now. Three straight foul balls before that take there. He's given him a real run for his money here. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Under it now is Holiday, and he's got it no problem to end the inning. Marlins forced to settle for one. Eighth inning coming up. Miami's out in front, nine to three. Carlos Beltran will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to milk one more inning out of him on the mound. Ball and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A solo shot here for Carlos Beltran. Number 14 on the season. As they try to claw back, it's a five-run deficit. Well, these guys still have some work to do, but this is a good start. Lead-off home run cuts one off the lead, but they're still going to need to manufacture a few more to get back in this ballgame. Now Ozzie Guillen's going to take the trip to the mound, and that's going to be all tonight for Josh Johnson. Seven solid innings for him in this one as he gave his club a very strong outing indeed. Michael Wirtz will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Skip Schumacher will dig in now. One for two to this point. First pitch coming. And that misses for ball one. changeup that's right there one and one and here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center therefore it is Stanton and he's got it for the first out and you saw the numbers when he came in He's yet to give up an earned run this year, so you can't ask for a whole lot more than that. Matt Holliday will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. And the pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this is going to get down. Extra bases, and they're starting to make some inroads here. On the air mails that one right over his head. And this is a good sign that he might be ready to break out of this slump of his. I can almost guarantee you that he talked about this with his hitting coach. Take the ball the other way. Use the whole field. You can do that. Good things will start happening. Lance Berkman will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time.
in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. For Holiday, he's at second with his 18th double of the year. Now Berkman awaits the 1-0. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And in order for that thing to be effective, it's got to be down. It almost doesn't matter how quick you throw it or how much the break is. Ball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And ball four now as Berkman will take the walk. Boy, I'll tell you what. If you want to see Ozzie Guillen lose his mind, keep an eye on him when a reliever comes in and starts walking, guys. Alan Craig will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Get the strike out, man! Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And you don't ever want to concede runs, but the key now is going to be getting outs and not worrying too much about those runners. The 1-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. Well, if he's ahead of that fastball, what does that tell you as a pitcher? Throw the changeup, and he'll be even more out in front. And this ball will be chopped foul. Runners are at first and second with one away. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. And this is low, but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again, still 2-2. Two and two. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Yeah, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you get into that cycle of fouling off pitch after pitch and trying to protect... You just feel like you have to swing at everything you see. And here, he knows that out on the mound. So he just keeps going farther and farther away from the strike zone until he finally gets a swing and miss. Yadier Molina will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is by Lee down the line, a fair ball. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And the runner is in from second. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. David Freeze will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Now it can't be understated how important those two runners are out at second and third. This is a big at bat. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. And he's going to have to be a good two-strike hitter here. From the stretch. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Marlins lead this one 9-5. to five. Just about ready for the bottom of the eighth now, but before we begin, let's go back and see how the Marlins got themselves to a better state. And it came right here. One you hate to see as an opposing manager, the bases loaded walk. Get to a better state, State Farm. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to take over now, and it's the right-hander Kyle McClellan that gets the ball here. Number 46, Kyle now catching and batting in the Aaron Rowan will step in to get things started for the Marlins. He'll be followed by the dangerous Hanley Ramirez on deck. And he gets ahead 0-1. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. Beltran is back, though, as he makes the catch on the track for the first out. Sometimes we use the phrase, runs coming at a premium, but it's fair to say that none of us will be saying that tonight as we check out our line score. Neither pitching staff has really even showed up. Hanley Ramirez will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Out in front of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. Throw to Berkman will be in time for route number two. Logan Morrison will stand in. He homered back in the fifth inning of this one. He'll start in with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball. One and one. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Now Morrison swings and sends this one on the ground to second base. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Ninth inning coming up. The Marlins on top, nine to five. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Mike Dunn will come on now hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the ninth. Rafael Fercal will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for bull one. And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. this fastball over it's two and one we think he held up in time but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two That misses. It's three and two now. Water! Get your water here! On the ground towards second. Yeah. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Coy Hill will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Fastball not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Bullet to first, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Yeah, late swing on the fastball that time. Almost worked out for him, but this finds that big glove down there at first. Carlos Beltran will stand in yet again, and he, of course, has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth, as this solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Josh Johnson in line for the W if the lead holds throughout. Yeah. 
Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Matt, the NL East leaders get another victory here, so they'll just keep applying the pressure on the rest of the division. Marlins got a big lift here tonight from the contributions of this man, Derek Lee. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, well, he really drove the ball well in this one. Six RBIs in the game. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work. So that'll just about wrap things up tonight. For Dave Campbell and Eric Karos, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 12 The Show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 9-5. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night for...